I think no modern music today can replace the feeling that this music is giving me right now. Hi, I'm Kanika. I'm 24 years old and a bachelor's of, or I did my bachelor's in aeronautical engineering. And mostly at this moment, whenever I introduce myself like this to someone, they react with a big eye bow asking how someone like me, and I don't know why they think like that, but ends up in such a gray, boring, and worst of all, well, worst of all, just extremely boring industry. Yeah. Here I stand today, extremely convinced that the aerospace industry isn't only amazing when you're on the forefront of it or when you're following it through media. It's actually really amazing when you're being part of it, when you're working there. Mostly the question after that is, what got me here? Why, why rockets? Why aeroplanes? Well, I was young once ago, one time ago, and <laughs> I, used, I grew up in this suburb, right next to Amsterdam Schiphol Airport. And I would see every day those giant metal boxes flying right up in the sky. And, you know, at a certain point, disappearing. And I would ask myself, how would it be to fly in it? How would it be to fly often in it and just disappear in the sky? And I don't know where I would even end up. So I was seven years old, heading in a plane, heading to India. And I could not wait until takeoff. I just pressed the flight attendant button, and she came, and she was like, OK, how can I help you, miss? And I was like, well, I want to sit in a cockpit with the pilots. And that's what I want. So <laughs> she stared at me, and she was like, OK, I'll see what I can do for you. And before I knew, there I was, in the cockpit with the pilots. And I had never known that it would be that small and that dark and so swarm and, and you know, like so many buttons. I didn't know where to look, but I was buckled up and ready for takeoff. And after that, I realized I wanted more of this. I wanted this more often. I wanted to fly. Fast forwarding to the age of 15. I have this amazing, like my mom is an amazing person and she has amazing friends. So one of them is my dearest, uh, I call her my auntie, um, Lena. And she married someone so amazing. In my eyes, he could have been Batman, a fighter pilot, an engineer. Like he did the things that I was dreaming of. However, he was also something way cooler than that. He was an astronaut, an European astronaut representing Belgium. And when I met him, he was recently back from his first mission, Mission Odyssea. And we were having dinner together, he, uh, Lena, my mom, and his colleague, Sergei Zaletin, a Russian cosmonaut. And you know, like I had this list ready with all the questions that I wanted to ask them. However, there was no need to use them because they were so passionate by themselves that they were just telling me and telling me and telling me all their stories from the moment they started their astronaut training to the point that they came back on Earth. And a whole new world opened up to me. A new world full of space, stars, uh, astronauts, rockets. It was something that I never thought of. I was just dreaming of Batman. And <laughs> so I ended up being an aeronautical engineer. I became an air cadet. I represented uh, the Royal Netherlands Air Force in Turkey and Japan. Amazing, amazing times I've seen. Um, being a fighter jets, I flew in the Apache, you name it. However, I never stopped aiming at the space industry. Because that's something that my, well, Frank really inspired me to go for. He told me, if you really want to become a part of it, you can. And no matter how hard you'll try, it's, it's worth it. Go for it. And that stayed with me, because as a teenager, you really need that influence. You really need that push. And as a girl, my mom kept on pushing me to go into the direction that not many girls would do. So today, I'm standing here on the stage, extremely honored to be here. But during my time as, um, well, the message that I want to tell you right now is that during my time as an intern here in ESA, and during my graduation research in Arabic defense and space, I realized that something big was missing. My own generation, those millennials, they were hardly there. Even though 20% 
of the students um, worldwide have been graduated recently in science and engineering, and they're pursuing graduate or PhD degrees, and they're doing great, but nobody ends up in this world. Like, nobody goes into this industry, and I wonder why. And it made me worried. So I started doing more research, and I realized that even high school students don't even see the point of going into this industry. They're not even inspired by space. They don't even know what satellites do, and they just know, like, a rocket, simple machine going up, fine. That's sad, and it makes me even more worried nowadays. As soon as I thought that I'm the one who's only worried, I started talking with my peers and mentors, and they all said that even they're worried, because it's becoming gray, as most of my friends taught, told me. And I felt like that as I'm becoming a part of this industry, I need to bring a change into this. I need to inspire. I need to, I need to bring some more knowledge to my younger generation. I need to make sure that more people will start looking up into space and will know more about the sun and more about planets, because trust me, today's generation, they actually really don't care. Nobody asked why Columbus is going to America. Nobody asks today why the Brothers Wright were thinking about building an aircraft. It may, not mean, it may not seem like very important nowadays, but in the future, and as all these presentations before were telling us, things will change rapidly, and we need this generation. So, I actually made sure that I will start inspiring everybody, all the people around me. I'll bring space more to the forefront of my life. I'll tell everybody I know what space does, how important it is for humanity, for life on Earth, and for each and every single one of us. I'm standing here on stage right now. And today, it's Indian New Year, it's Diwali, so it's even more special to me. And I'm taking this plight, that I will make sure that everybody around me will start doing something related to space. May it be into marketing, may it be into communications, may it be into engineering, science, you name it, doctors. I'll make sure they'll look up to this industry again. And I ask you all to do the same, because we really need it. And you all are inspired by space, and that's why you're all here. So, I hope you all promise this to yourself, and the ones you look up to in this industry, that we will bring more people in here and inspire the younger ones around us. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.